Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. I am here this time. Good. Okay. Happy to see you again. All right. Let's begin. I'm going to be calling attendance now. Just bear with me for a second as I. Uh, um, as the page shows. Okay. All right, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you, by the way. There it is. Okay. Um, here we go. First one, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present, teacher. Welcome. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Presente. Hello, Arles. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. I am present. Welcome. Carlos Alberto Santo Reyes. Present, teacher. Welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present, present teacher. Welcome. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Francis Salvallero. Ever Francis Salvallero. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Who's talking? Ever Francis. Okay. Hello, Ever. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Franklin de la O, Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Presente, teacher. Presente, teacher, Albayero, Ever Francis. Thank you, thank you. Attendance taken. Ever Taristi de Soya Ruiz. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente, teacher. Welcome. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Presente, teacher. Welcome. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am good, here. E good evening. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome, Mónica Yvette Merino Rivas. Mónica Yvette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Welcome, Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher, I am here. Welcome. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. 
Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Franz, perdón, Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Ok. Por ahí vía Cecia. Hola, Cecia. Ok. Um, let's continue. All right. What, what do we have here? This is English Pre-Intermedio Módulo 1. And that's me, Iván Doñan. Once again, at your service. This is session number 10. And uh, today is August the 10th of uh, 2023. So what's that? Okay, what are we going to do? Just going to have a very quick review on the contents from uh, last time. And after that, we're just going to continue with some exercises. So let's continue. Take a look. It's the grammar focus. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. In other words, uh, questions in present simple. Okay, so again, you have, do you like rap? Do you like rap? What do we use? We use do. We use do when the subject is I, you, we, or they. And then the verb in base form. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. Or no, I don't like it very much. When the subject is he, she, or it, then you have to use does. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Now, those are yes, no questions. But then we also have information questions or WH questions. And what are information questions? To answer information questions, you need specific information, not a yes or no. Mm -mm. You need specific information. Like in this case, what kind of music do you like? So the question phrase in this case is, what kind of music? All that, what kind of music? And then, do you like? That's specific. You say, I like rock a lot. I like jazz. I like classical music, etc." You don't say, yes, I do. No, that's incorrect. What does he play? It's an information question because you have what at the beginning. He plays the guitar, okay? Who do they like? They like you too. So that's a review on how to formulate questions using the present simple. Remember also that we use object pronouns like me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. We have two chat entries. Evert Aristides, oye Ruiz. Okay. Thank you, Evert. Attendance taken. All right, so what are we going to do? Present simple questions. You have to write questions with do and does. But how? You need to use uh, the verbs in the box. And the verbs in the box are uh, do, do again, enjoy, go, like, start, teach, and work, okay? So uh, the first question, what is the first question? To answer the, well, to formulate the question, you need to take a look at the answer. She says, I work in a bookstore. So what's the question, Maria Magdalena? What do you work? What do you work is, mm, the verb is incorrect. It's a different verb. Um, mm -hmm. What is your work? 
Mm, well, in that case, you're using the verb be. We don't need the verb be here. Oh. Mm -hmm. It do so, that? Okay. What is the question? What do you do? What no, do you do? Me. Yeah, that's the question. What do you do? Remember that the question, what do you do, means what is your job or what is your occupation? What do you do? That's great. What is your job? Or also, what is your occupation? That's the meaning of what do you do? Okay. So correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Teacher, thanks. Okay, welcome. Um, what about number two? If you know, you can raise your hand and participate. Cecia. Uh, do you like it? Do you like it? She says, it's okay. All right, correct. Thank you very much. What about number three? What time, blah, 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 in the morning? She says, at nine. So what's the question? If you know, please raise your hand. What is the question here? Maria de Lourdes. What time start in the morning? What time again? What time start in the morning? Well, uh, you need to use the auxiliary verb and you need to use the subject. Uh, what time um, do, do I start in the morning? Okay, better, but you need to use the subject too. What time do? Mm -hmm. Pass, <laughs> okay, Cecia. Come on, I have more than two students. Uh, okay, Sorry. there's only <laughs> Cecia. No, no, it's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, but only Cecia and, and Maria uh, de Lourdes are participating. Where are the rest? Okay, Cecia, what's question what number three? What time do you do in the morning? What time do you do in the morning? Okay, now the structure is good, but the verb is incorrect. You need to use a different verb. What's the verb? What time do you start in the morning? <laughs> what time do you start in the morning? Now, that is a correct verb. What time do you start in the morning? And she says at nine. I have some chat entries here. Franklin de Laos says presente and Wilber Rafael also says presente. Okay, Wilber, thank you. And Franklin de Lao, welcome. Okay. Okay, number four, what is the question? The answer is sometimes, it's like yes, basically. So uh, what is the question? Enrique Perez. Voy a intentar, teacher. Okay. Uh, do you work on Saturday? Do you work on Saturdays? That yeah. is correct. Do you work on Saturdays? It's a yes, no question. She says, sometimes. sometimes. When she says sometimes, it's like, yes. Okay. Monica Yvette and then Maria de Lourdes. Number five, Monica. How do you work? How do you? See, how do you work? work? How, how do you work to work? Mm, probably not. How do you? You need a verb. Also, welcome. También bienvenida a clase. Aquí le tomo su asistencia. Okay, how? Bueno, lo intenté. Come on, come on. You you can you can tell. Me. Okay, how do you blah 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 to work? And she says usually by bus. So you need to use one of these verbs. How do you do to work? How do you enjoy to work? How do you go to work? How do you like to work? How do you start to work? How do you teach to work? How do you work to work? What is the correct verb? Uh, mm, 
Trabajo. And she says, by bus. Que me ayude. Que me ayude. <laughs> okay. Maria de Lourdes is going to help help you. Thank you, Monica. Okay. How, how do you go to work? How do you go to work? Uh -huh. How do you go to work? Usually by bus. Okay. Okay. Thank you, uh, Monica. And thank you, uh, Maria Lourdes. Number six, Karen Julissa. And your husband. Permítame la mano. Eh, and your husband, what, what do you teach? Mm. No. <laughs> Not really. It's different. And your husband, what, what do he teach? Okay. <laughs> Remember that. Okay. Two things. Okay. First. The verb is different. And number two, uh, remember when the subject is he, she, or it, you need to use does, not do. So what's the question? Husband, what do he teach? Mm, no, sorry. It's it's a bit different. No, no, no. Make you but but thank you, Karen. Who can help Karen? Maria de Lourdes. And your husband, what does he do? What does he do? That is correct. And your husband, what does he do? Basically, it's the equivalent of this question. What do you do? But now the subject is he. You say, what does he do? That means, what is his job? Or, what is his occupation? Now look, it's the same question. But in the first one, the subject is you. So, the auxiliary is do. In the second one, the, the, the subject is he. So the auxiliary is does. What does he do? What is his job? What is his occupation? Okay. So um, number seven. Ever Enrique. What does he teach? What does he teach? Science. Okay. That is correct. What does he teach? Science. Thank you very much. What about number eight? Who knows number eight? Baudilio. Does enjoy his job? The subject is missing. Mm, do? No, that was correct but you need to use a subject. Ah, uh, that's like his job. But the question is who? De quien está hablando? Falta el sujeto. Um, you? Mm -mm. We're talking about the lady's husband. She? She is a lady. We're talking about a man. He. Aha. Uh -huh. So what? So what is the question? Uh, do he? Mm -mm. Like... Remember, do is for the subjects. I, you, we, and they. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Does you? No, uh, does. Does he? Sorry. Uh -huh. Does he like his job? His job? Does he like his job? Okay, this is good, but we have already used the verb like, so you have to use a different verb. Ese ya lo ocupamos. And enjoy. 
Uh -huh. What is the complete question? Does does you mm -mm. does he that's enjoy funny. his job? Does he enjoy his job? Yes, he loves it. Okay. I am missing the job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Como estoy perdido, eso me quiso decir. Okay. Sería en este caso I'm lost. Okay. Un poco distinto. I'm lost. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Short answers. Write short answers. Yes, he does. No, I don't, etc., etc. I'm going to ask people specifically. Voy a preguntar directamente, porque si no, lo mismo sin como participa. Así que, atención que voy a llamar nombre ahorita. Vamos a ver. José Benjamín, Gavidia, Guevara. Number two. Well, number one is an example. Do you watch TV a lot? Si usted ve bastante tele. Yes, I do. Si no, no, I don't. So, uh, Jose Benjamin, do you live in a big city? Um, well, uh, yes, I do. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, next person on the list. Um, Saul Ernesto Martinez Portillo. Number three, do you ever ride a bike? No, I don't. I... Who said that? <laughs> Saul Ernesto? No, I don't. Okay, thank you very much. Next. Adán Iglesias Velázquez, number four. Does it rain a lot where you live? Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Yes, I do. Mm -mm. Be careful. The question is, does it rain? Not you. Does it rain a lot where you, where you live? Yes. Yes, I do. Mm -mm. Not possible. Let's take a look. If they ask you a question like, for example, look. Do you blah, blah, blah. Okay, then you can say, yes, I do, or no, I don't, because the subject is you. I'm asking you directly. But in this case, the question is, does it rain a lot where you live? So it's, does it rain? What is the possible answer? I'm going to ask a different person. Let's see. Carlos Edgardo, does it I rain a Okay. Carlos Edgardo, does it rain a lot where you live? No, I don't. Mm -mm. Be careful. Usted puede decir, yes, I do, or no, I don't, cuando la pregunta es, do you? Que le están preguntando, do you, usted? Pero la pregunta acá es, does it rain a lot where you live? Una persona no puede llover. Eso no es posible. Estamos hablando del clima. Uh -huh. Entonces, does it rain a lot where you live? What is the correct answer? I'm going to ask a different person this time. Mauro Orlando. Vasquez Segura. Does it rain a lot where you live? Mauro Orlando Vasquez Segura. Estamos ahí. Hmm. Oscar Susana Castellano. We, uh, we. Aha. Oscar Susana, does it rain a lot where you live? Oscar Susana. Only winter. Uh -huh. So, does it rain a lot where you live? Yes or no? Okay, I get no answer. Ever Francis Alvallero, does it rain a lot where you live? Ever 
Ever Francis Alvallero. ¿Estamos por acá? Mm. Sí, te lo está escuchando. Ok. Ever Francis, ¿estamos por acá? Ok. Es correcto. Por aquí. Okay. Es malísima la señal. Ok, so, uh, question number four. Does it rain a lot where you live? Dos y tres. No. Ajá. No what? Vamos a ver qué nos dice José Benjamín, Gavidia Guevara. Este sería teacher ahí, se usaría no, y doesn't. Correcto, así es. No, it doesn't. Tenemos que practicar esto. Veamos. ¿Cuál es la clave? Es sencillo. Fíjense bien acá. La clave es utilizar el mismo sujeto y el mismo auxiliar. Ahí está todo. Si en la pregunta le dicen, do you, si en la pregunta le dicen, do you, ¿verdad? Le están preguntando a usted directamente. Por lo tanto, usted contesta con el sujeto, I. Do you live in a big city? Yes, I do. Do you like salsa music? You say, no, I don't. Do you study English? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you uh, work as a mechanic? No, I don't, et cetera, et cetera. Pero luego la pregunta se vuelve, does it rain a lot where you live? Ya no es el mismo auxiliar, ya no es el mismo sujeto. ¿Cómo vamos a contestar? Con el auxiliar y con el sujeto que está en la pregunta, naturalmente. Entonces decimos, yes, it does. O si es negativo, no, it doesn't. Entonces, son esos pequeños detalles que tenemos que fijarnos muy bien. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. Chat, uh, Carlos Alberto, Santos Reyes, Erika, Beatriz, aquí está. Vamos a ver, Erika, Erika. No la encuentro, no dice, aquí está. All right. So, um, number five. Vuelvo a preguntar por acá. Pregunto a Erika. Erika, number five. Do you play the piano? Eh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eh, sería, yes, yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Really? Yes, do, I you do. Play, do you play, play the piano? No, I don't. I don't know. You tell me. No, I don't. No, I don't. No ok, ok. Se, seamos sinceros. Ok. No, okay. I don't. <laughs> ok. Thank you. Good grammar. Okay. ok. Thank you very much. Ok. I'm asking a different person this time. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Juan Francisco Arrasabal, Calderón. Number six. Does your best friend no, like I... rock music? Teacher, no, I don't. But, but I'm not asking you. La pregunta no es, do you like rock music? Ahora es, does your best friend like rock music? Mm -hmm. Does your best friend like rock music? No. No what? Oh, my friend. Sorry? La respuesta dice es no. No, my friend. No, my friend. Creo que tenemos un problemita ahí con el micrófono porque no comprendo mucho. No, it doesn't. Okay. 
I'm going to no, ask. No, no, no. Okay, David Antonio, Rosale Garcia, does your best friend like rock music? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. No, it doesn't. It. Hey. But it's a person. Es una persona, así que es he or she. So, David? He doesn't. Okay. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's right. You say, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Sorry. Me salvé. Okay. Okay, your best friend, remember, is he or she. So, no, he doesn't. Take a teacher. No, she doesn't. You're welcome. Okay. The next one, I'm asking. Let's see. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Está riendo ahí. Vamos a ver, Carlos Alberto. <laughs> Carlos Alberto, do you play volleyball? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Yes, I do. Okay, the next one. Let's see. Adán Iglesias, do you live in an apartment? Adán Iglesias Velázquez, estamos por ahí. Adán Iglesias. No, I don't. Okay, thank you very much. No, I don't. Okay. Ever Tarist, bueno, Ever, dijo que iba manejando, así que mejor no. Okay, uh, ma, ma, ma. Franklin de la O, do you wash your hair every day? Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández, do you wash your no, hair every day? No, uh -huh. no, I not. No, I? Not. No, I don't, okay. No, I don't. Okay. All right. Next section. Okay, everybody, thanks for your participation. All right, what are we going to do? Object pronouns, take a good look. This is what we use for people. When the subject is I, the object pronoun is me, okay? When the subject is we, the object pronoun is us. When the subject is you, the object pronoun is you. Enrique. Pichi, te una, una duda en la última pregunta que le hizo a Franklin. Eh, en español esta pregunta es si se baña todos los días. No, si se lava el cabello todos los días. Ah, gracias. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, ya pensaba que no me bañaba. Pero como dijo que no, eso ya no se baña. <risa> gracias, Pichi. Bueno. Me, me, lavo, me lavo el cabello dos veces Los a la sábado. semana. <laughs> okay all right so um again right when the subject is you the object is also you subject pronoun he the object pronoun is him for the subject pronoun she the object pronoun is her for the subject pronoun they the object pronoun is them we have studied this before esto ya lo hemos visto con anterioridad también now how do you use them? Subject pronouns are I, we, you, he, she, and they. Okay? We use subject pronouns before the verb. Se utilizan antes del verbo. That's the subject. For example, I say, I know Sandra. We know Sandra. You know Sandra. He knows Sandra. She knows Sandra. They know Sandra. When you say, I know Sandra, it's, yo conozco a Sandra. We know Sandra. Nosotros conocemos a Sandra. Now, that's the subject pronoun. You use the subject pronouns before the verb. Se utiliza antes del verbo, antes de la acción. But what about the object pronouns? Object pronouns are me, us, you, him, her, and them. You use the object pronouns after the verb. Después del verbo. Okay? So I say, for example, I know Sandra. Sandra knows me. Yo conozco a Sandra. 
y Sandra me conoce a mí, parecido al español, no decimos Sandra me conoce a yo, ¿verdad? Porque no queda, se me conoce a mí, es muy parecido, so Sandra knows me. Cecia. Es que no sé cómo preguntar. Pregúnteme. In es, Spanish, no problem. Subject es sujeto, ¿verdad? Así es. Y object es objeto. Uh -huh. Entonces, no entiendo cuándo voy a usar el objeto. After the verb, después del verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? El verbo es la acción. La acción. Ajá. Si va antes del verbo, ocupe un subject pronoun. Si va después del verbo, entonces va a ocupar un object pronoun. Gracias. Uh -huh. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo. Decimos, yo conozco a Sandra y Sandra me conoce a mí. So, I know Sandra. Sandra knows me. Second example. We know Sandra. Sandra knows us. Nosotros conocemos a Sandra y Sandra nos conoce a nosotros. David. En los subjects, he, she, le agrega una S a... Ese es el verbo, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because this is present simple. Remember what we have studied in present simple? Where is it? Present simple, present... Well, I don't have it here. Okay, but present simple works like this. You say, I know, you know, we know. Uh, they know. Okay, and when the subject is he, say knows, she knows, it knows. Okay? Es la forma afirmativa del present simple cuando el sujeto es he, she, or it. Acuérdense que el verbo tiene que modificarse un poco. Se le agrega esa S, ¿verdad? He knows, she knows, it knows. ¿Ok? So, Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Going back to the slide. Oops. Ok. All right. So, um, next you have, you know Sandra. Sandra knows you. In this case, you is a subject. Subject pronoun. You know Sandra. In the second sentence, Sandra knows you. It's the object pronoun. Okay? He knows Sandra. He knows Sandra. And Sandra knows him. Él conoce a Sandra y Sandra lo conoce a él. Okay? She knows Sandra. Sandra knows her. Ella conoce a Sandra y Sandra la conoce a ella. Ok, Sandra knows her. They know Sandra, Sandra knows them. Ellos conocen a Sandra y Sandra los conoce a ellos. So, again, the subject pronoun comes before the verb. The object pronoun comes after the verb. All right? Now, what happens with things? ¿Qué pasa con las cosas? Ok, be careful with this. With things, the subject pronoun is it, and the object pronoun is also it. Okay, it, it, easy. She says, for example, it's nice. I like it. Está bonito, ¿verdad? Me gusta. It's nice. I like it. Okay, it before the, sub the, the verb. It's the subject pronoun. I like it. It comes after the verb like. So this is the object pronoun. But that's singular. What happens when the objects are plural? When things are plural, for example, you have shoes. When you have shoes, that's two shoes, that's plural, you don't say it, you use they. Porque el sujeto, they, no es exclusivo de personas. Es para personas y para cosas también. Okay? So, they are nice. I like them. Okay? Subject pronoun. 
they are nice. I like them, object pronoun. And you have some examples. I don't want this book. You can have it. No quiero este libro. Se lo puede llevar. Puedes quedar. You can have it. Now look, it is an object pronoun that refers to this book because it's only one book. I don't want these books, plural. You can have them. No quiero estos libros. Te los puedes quedar. So you can have them. Them is an object pronoun that refers to these books, plural. Diane never drinks milk. She doesn't like it. It is the object pronoun that refers to milk. I never go to parties. Nunca voy a las fiestas, right? I never go to parties. I don't like them. Them is an object pronoun that refers to the parties. It's plural. Now, something else that we have to know. We use object pronouns after a preposition. Ah, before that, I'm going to send this information to you via WhatsApp. Before I forget. Where is the group? Okay, that's the first one, the second one. And the third one. Okay, so we use object pronouns after a preposition. Se ocupan después de un verbo o después de una preposición. Prepositions include for, to, with, etc. You have some examples. This letter isn't for me. It's for you. Okay? For is a preposition. So, after a preposition, you use object pronouns, never subject pronouns. Nunca va a ocupar un subject pronoun después de una preposition. No va a decir usted, this letter is for I. Okay? Sería tan feo como decir en español, esta carta es para yo. No se puede. Es para mí. So this letter isn't for me, it's for you. Okay. Chat entry here. Saul Ernesto. Okay. All right. So uh who is that woman? Why are you looking at her? Okay. At is a preposition. So you use her. You don't say why are you looking at she? No. Why are you looking at her? That is correct. We are going to the movies. Do you want to come with us? With is a preposition. So we use the object pronoun us. We never say, do you want to come with we? That's incorrect. Sue and Kevin are going to the movies. Son ellos los que van, no somos nosotros. So Sue and Kevin are going to the movies. Do you want to go with them? Them, object pronoun. Because it comes after the preposition with. And where is the newspaper? You are sitting on it. Está sentado encima de él. So you are sitting on it. Okay. On is a preposition. So you use the object pronoun it. Now, what is a preposition? A preposition is a word and almost always very small, very short, very common word that uh, shows direction. For example, a letter to you. To is a preposition. Location, ubicación. At the door. At is a preposition. Or time. By noon. By is a preposition. Or that introduces an object. A basket of apples. Of is a preposition. Prepositions are typically followed by an object, which can be a noun. For example, when you say by noon. Or a noun phrase, the door. Or a pronoun, you. Object pronoun. Always an object pronoun. Now you can also say give it and give them to. I need that book. Necesito ese libro. I need that book. Please give it to me. Aquí tenemos ambos casos. Aparece un object pronoun después de un verbo y un object pronoun después de una preposition. Give it to me. Necesito ese libro. Por favor, dámelo. Dame el libro a mí, ¿verdad? Dámelo. Please give it to me. Now, Robert needs these books. 
uh, Robert necesita estos libros. Se los puede dar. Okay. Can you give them to him, please? Can you give them? Them, after the verb, refers to the books. To him. Him is an object pronoun after the preposition to. Him refers to Robert. Can you give them to him? Se lo puede dar a él, verdad? Por favor. And that's how it works. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp too. Okay. Exercise time. So object pronouns, complete the sentences with an object pronoun. First, I don't know those girls. Do you know what is the correct object pronoun here? Voluntarios. Y si siempre me participan los mismos, voy a empezar a leer otra vez. Okay. Number one, I don't know those girls. Do you know what's the object pronoun? Enrique. I don't know these girls. Do you know us? Us is nosotros. Oh, eh. mm -hmm. eh. Then. Aha. I don't know those girls. Do you know them? Then. Se conoce a ellas. Okay. I don't know those girls. Do you know them? Thank you, Enrique. Number two. I don't know that man. No conozco ese hombre. Okay. I don't know that man. Do you know... What's the object pronoun? David. Then Cecia for the next one. I don't know that man. Do you know him? Do you know him? That is correct. Very good. Cecia, number okay. three. No, Cecia. Come on. You do know. I don't know. I don't know these okay. people. Uh -huh. Those people. Dos. Uy, uy, eh, si ya terminamos nuestra participación, siempre recordemos eh, apagar el micrófono. Ok. Eh, no tengo el object de esa dos. Those people, plural. Ah. It's similar Them. to num number one. Ok, I don't Them. know those girls. I don't know those people. Ajá. Ah, es them. Ajá. The question is? Vaya, baby. I don't know those people. Do you know them? Do you know them? Correct. Mm -hmm. Plural. Que son ellos. Do you, I don't know those people. Do you know them? Good. Thank you, Cecia. Number four. I don't know David's wife. Se que no conoce la esposa de David. Okay. Más de alguno aquí. Tiene que conocer a la esposa de David. I don't so, know David Wells. María Magdalena. Do you know her? Do you know her? Okay. I don't know David's wife. Do you wife? Do you know her? María Magdalena, uh, now I'm asking you. I'm telling you. I don't know David's wife. Do you know her? ¿Conoce usted a la, a la, a la esposa de David? ¿Se está casado? Yes. ¿Está casado? Okay. Yes. Yes what? Yes I? This... Uh... Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. What's her name? Nah, yes, too. Mucha pregunta. Okay. Uh, Evan Enrique, the next one, number five. Your name is Ana. Ana, okay. Nice. <laughs> number five. Ana no, hombre, no, hombre. Okay, number five. I don't know Mr. Vasquez. Evan Enrique. Do you know him? Do you know him? Okay, I don't know Mr. Vasquez. Do you know him? Okay, good. Monica Yvette, number six. I don't know Ross's parents. Yo. Uh, no, Monica, and you go for the next one. Jane. 
I don't I don't know cross parents Cross's parents uh -huh. uh, do you know them do you know them okay that's correct I don't know Ross's parents do you know them Thank you I don't know much. cross parents parents como parents or parents parents, parents. parents. Uh, okay mm -hmm. You know them? Okay, Cecia, the next one, number seven. I don't know the woman in the black dress. I don't know the woman in the black dress. Do you know her? Do you know her? That's correct. Do you know her? Good, thank you. Uh, the next one, number eight, volunteers, please. Volunteer number eight, Jose Benjamin, Gavidia, Guevara. I don't know the answer. Do you know me? Mm, the answer. I don't know the answer. The answer. Mm -hmm. No sé la respuesta, Liz. I don't know the answer. Do you know? Mm, sí, o sea, no sé la respuesta. Yo quería poner que sí la sabía. <laughs> No, le, le está preguntando si sabe la respuesta. Do you know? Bueno, me equivoqué. Ok, pero veamos. ¿Cuál es el object pronoun que utilizamos cuando nos referimos a cosas? Do you know it? Ok, ¿quién me dijo por ahí? It. Ok, thank you. Do you know it? Ok, do you know it? Do you know the answer? And the last one, okay. number nine. I don't know the rules. I don't know the rules. Maria de Lourdes. Do you know them? Do you know them? Okay, now, for things in plural, do you know them? Okay. There's the, there's the questions. Okay, you say, number one, I don't know those girls. Do you know them? Number two, I don't know that man. Do you know him? I don't know those people. Do you know them? I don't know David's wife. Do you know her? I don't know Mr. Vasquez. Do you know him? I don't know Ross's parents. Do you know them? I don't know the woman in the black dress. Do you know her? I don't know the answer. Do you know it? I don't know the rules. Do you know them? Let's continue. Object pronouns. Complete the sentences with subject pronouns or object pronouns. Remember, if it comes before the verb, you need a subject pronoun. If it comes after the verb, you need an object pronoun. And you have an example. I want to see her. But she doesn't want to see me. Yo quiero verla, pero ella no me quiere ver a mí. Okay? I want to see her, but she doesn't want to see me. What about number two? Cecia. They want to see me, but I don't want to see them. They want to see me, but I don't want to see them. Correct. Okay. They want to see me, but I don't want to see them. Great. Number three. Thank you, Cecilia. Number three. Volunteers. Maria de Lourdes. She wants to see him, but he doesn't want to see her correct she wants to see him but he doesn't want to see her ella lo quiere ver a él pero él no la quiere ver a ella okay great Maria Lourdes, thank you number four who wants to participate enrique perez number four we want to see them, but I don't want to see him. Mm, no, not really. 
you change the the pronouns. We, nosotros, we want to see them. Nosotros queremos verlos a ellos. Okay, we want to see them. Yeah, don't want to see us. Okay, who? Who doesn't want to see us? Ese us está bien, pero el primero, ¿cuál era? We want to see them, <laughs> but... I don't, wait. We want to see them, but, but I don't. Mm -mm. Eh. Usted los quiere ver a ellos, pero ellos no lo quieren, no quieren verlos a ustedes. Dice. They ah. don't. Ajá. Ajá. So we want to see them, but. But they don't. They don't. Have to see us. But they don't want to see us. Okay. That's correct. We want to see them, but they don't want to see us. Okay. Uh, for the next one, number five. Maria de Lourdes. No. Okay. He wants to see us, but we don't want to see uh, him. He wants to see us, but we don't want to see him. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Number six. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Wilber. Good evening, Mr. Chair. Uh, permítame, voy a bajar la mano. Okay, they want to see her, but she doesn't want to see them. They want to see her, but she doesn't want to see them. Correct. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number seven. If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Cecia. I want to see them, but they don't want to see me. I want to see them, but they don't want to see me. Correct. Thank you, Cecia. And number eight. Maria Lourdes, do you want to try? Your hand is up. Or someone, okay. Well, you want to see her, uh -huh. but uh, she doesn't want to see um, me. Mm -mm. You want to see her, but she doesn't want to see. Uh -huh. You want to see her, but she doesn't want to see. Wilber. You. You. Okay, you. You want to see her, but she doesn't want to see you. Tú la quieres ver a ella, pero ella no te quiere ver a ti. Okay. All right. That's good. Now, probably we don't have much time for this, but we're going to try. Okay, complete the sentences with subject pronouns or object pronouns. Okay, aquí tienen que elegir entre subject pronouns y object pronouns. Who is that woman? Why are you looking at who wants to try? Chat entry. Se trabó la mano y el micrófono, dice María Lourdes. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, um, number one. Okay, who wants to try? This is the last exercise today. Who is that woman? Why are you looking at? A la, la esposa o la novia celosa. ¿Quién es esa mujer? ¿Por qué la estás viendo? Okay, who is that woman? Why are you looking at? Uh -huh. People? Cecia? Her. Why are yeah. you looking at her? That's correct. Okay, at her. At is a preposition, so you need to use an object pronoun. Why are you looking at her? Okay. Number two. Do you know that man? Yes. I work with. Okay, Cecia. 
him. I work with him. Okay, good. Okay. Number three. Voy a, voy a preguntar directo porque ya se me durmieron. Number three. Where are the tickets? I can't find Saúl Ernesto. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Number three. Saúl Ernesto. Erika Beatriz, number three. Erika Beatriz, Guillén Pineda. Uh, voy a intentar, teacher, voy a intentar. Okay, okay. Uh, number three. Yes. Uh, where are the ticket? I can find it. I can find, okay, plural. It find. is singular. I can find it. It is singular, but in this case, you have the tickets. That's plural. So I can find. Find is a verb. So after a verb, you need to use an object pronoun. So I can find. Them. I can find them, okay? Them. Okay. Them. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you, Monica Yvette, Number four. I can't find my keys. Where are you? The keys. Where? No, we're looking for I the keys. Uh -huh. I can't find my keys. Sí, verdad. Mm -hmm. I can't find my keys. Where? Are, where are you? Pero anda buscando las llaves. Si no dice, no encuentro las llaves, ¿dónde estás? No, anda buscando las llaves, no me anda buscando a mí. Así que, uh, I can't find my keys. Where are? Okay, who can help Monica? Volunteer, please. Olivia. Oh, teacher. Okay. Where are you? I am. Uh, okay, uh, Baudilio, sorry. Where are you? But the keys, plural. Uh, them. Okay, good. Pero, aquí estamos ocupando el verb be en forma de pregunta. Cuando tenemos el verb be en forma de pregunta, lo que se hace es que se cambia el sujeto y el verb be cambian de lugar. Así que con el verb be no aplica esto de los object pronouns. Hay una regla un poco distinta ahí. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Si no es them, ¿sería? Mm, I don't know. Ok. ¿Ever Enrique? Where are they? Where are they? Correct. Ok. ¿Por qué subject pronoun? Me va a decir usted. Si va después del, ver, del verbo, es el verb be. Sí, pero acuérdense que para hacer una pregunta con el verb be es un poco diferente a, con los otros verbos. Usted dice, I am, uh, you are, he is, we are, etc., etc. So, to ask a question, you say, am I? Are you? Is he? Are we? Are they are also? Question is, are they? Mm -hmm. Por esta razón, en la pregunta con el verb be, van a ocupar subject pronouns y no object pronouns. So, where are they? Y aquí tendría que haber ido un question mark. Okay. All right, number five. Jose Benjamin. We are going out. You can come with me. But we, together, several people, we are going out. You can come with. Um, Son varios los que ten. van a salir, no solo usted. Ten. No, porque usted es parte del grupo. Oh, yes. 
Uh -huh. We are going out. You can come with. Sí, entendí que solo era uno, así que pero dije mí. Cuidado, porque dice we, nosotros. Sí, sí. Es un grupo y usted está incluido en el grupo porque dice nosotros. So, we are going out. You can come with. Sería. No, teacher. Paso. <laughs> ok, you pass. Uh, María Magdalena. You can come with us. You can come with us. Ok. You can come with us. Puede venir con nosotros. Ok. You can come with us. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, number six. Mary likes music. Period. Mary likes music. Well, teacher. Yes. Sorry, Monica. Creí que había quedado le levantada la manita. Okay. Ah, no. Okay, sorry, sorry. Mary okay, likes music. Music, her, her plays the piano. But now look, it comes before the verb. You can't use an object pronoun. You have to use a subject Mary pronoun. Mary. La idea está bien, solo que me ocupó el tipo de pronombre equivocado. No puede ser her, porque her lo va a utilizar después del verbo. Cuando es antes del verbo, va a utilizar un subject pronoun. Que sería el equivalente, pero en subject pronoun. ¿Cuál es el equivalente de her? She, teacher. Correct. Mary likes music. She plays the piano. She plays the piano. That is correct. Listen, we are going to finish the rest tomorrow, okay? Because it's already 8 and 8, okay? It's late. Ya nos pasamos el tiempo. Okay, so um, we're going to complete the rest. Oh, que podemos hacerlo. Puedo dejar de tarea también. Que lo completen. Y mañana solo revisamos la respuesta. ¿verdad? Okay, aquí lo tienen. Okay, complete the rest, please, in your house. Okay, so um, I'm, going, I'm just going to call attendance. Ever Enrique Gallegos, are you here? Yes, uh, present teacher. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodriguez Asensio. Ya no volvió, Iván. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. No. José Valentín Rivera. López. José Valentín. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Hernández. No. Okay, thank you. Remember, we have a class tomorrow. Tenemos clase mañana, ¿verdad? No hagan planes, ¿ok? Acuérdense que esta semana y la siguiente tenemos clase el viernes para poder terminar acabar el viernes de la otra semana. Así que no vayan a faltar. Thank you very much. Okay. Teacher. Work on the platform. Good night, tomorrow. teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, grupo. Bye-bye. Good night.